are you struggling uh, to start your two-stroke dirt bike? Well, this video I'm going to share how I got this thing running again after it's been standing for many years and I'm a complete beginner. So I got this bike about 10 years ago for my wife to learn to ride on before we did a major trip um, and it's been standing out in the rain for 10 years and every couple of years I start it with a couple of kicks and it goes again and I was surprised at how um, this neglected bike will always start again and then this last time uh, a couple of days ago I took it out and it just wouldn't start I kicked it about 50 times there's just nothing there so I left it for a day or two and then decided now I am determined to make this thing run again so I did some research and uh, and this is obviously a common uh, all over the internet but there's basically four things that you need to make an old two-stroke bike run it's fuel air compression and spark now, I know Ryan F9 says start with the fuel but before I take out this carburetor and clean it out properly um, which is a major mission I will do that at some stage I decided to start with the spark because obviously if there's no spark it's not going to run and that's the easiest to test it's very quick to test I started with uh, by taking out the spark plug uh, or this plug cap and then take out the spark plug with the plug spanner and put it in the plug cap and then just hold it against uh, the engine block now you need to, to hold the metal part of the plug so the where the thread is against the the, the casing or the some metal but the best is the engine block and then check for spark as you kick it um, now just remember to have your kill switch in the on position um, and i didn't see any spark now it has to be dark enough so you might have to do this at night or just um, shield the light um, otherwise you won't see it but after a couple of kicks i was confident that there's no spark i even touched the metal part to feel if there's a slight shock nothing at all so then I got discouraged because that's why I never test the spark because I'm always worried what if you don't find spark because then you have to somehow fix it right <laughs> so I decided to just take it uh, methodically or step by step so I started with the kill switch so the kill switch is simply um, a piece of wire that goes to the kill switch and back and then as you flip it to off position it shorts out the power so it basically shorts it if it's in the on position the power can run um, yeah yeah run through the circuit to the spark plug so um i first also thought well yo, am i going to how do you test it even so i just opened the handlebar um, the, the controls just two screws and inside looked for for wires to test somehow and i couldn't really see the wire going to the kill switch so i basically followed the other wires the colored wires to the light and um, I just followed the wire to see where it goes and it ended up going into the lights and then I saw all the colorful wires that goes to I think it's the light switch if I'm right anyways there's a bunch of colorful wires that goes into a plug and then the black um, wire that comes from the kills which I could see that's the only two the only wires that comes through that uh, sheath or the covering and um, so then I saw the kill switch goes it goes into a connector and this is where if you unplug this then the bike will always run um, so that's where I test it so I basically just put in an ohm meter a multimeter set on uh, 20,000 ohms and then flip the switch back and forth to see whether there's a change and and luckily it worked so that wasn't the problem and I could also see then if you put it in the off position um, that is where there is there's continuity so it basically shorts to the frame or to ground okay so now I knew it wasn't the kill switch next I had to figure out is there power getting to the spark plug now because there's no battery near you can't test for voltage it's an old six volt system so I had to test all the components that take power from wherever it's generated I don't know what you call it the state or whatever from there to the spark plug so I took out the coil it's just the thing connected to the spark plug wire and tested there on both sides with the multimeter I checked for continuity so is the, the see it on ohms again um, and that seemed fine I think it was 6,000 something you'll see it on the screen uh, I think anything between 5 and 10 is fine I don't know but anyways there was there was um it was connected so there is current can go through there so that wasn't the problem i assumed 
next I looked at the uh, I took off the spark plug cap so it basically just pulls off or unscrews this one screws off um, and I tested the plug cap and that there was no continuity there so I found the problem at this stage or that's what I thought so obviously if there's no power coming through the spark plug cap there's no power coming from the coil to the spark plug so then I went to the spare shop I got one for like super cheap a proper NGK one from Japan it fitted that uh, again nothing I just kicked and there was no no spark no start no spark so I tested the plug cap that was fine um, but this this is what I was always afraid of because now you've done everything that seems logical to do and it didn't work so where next so then I decided to open this um, stator cover off this cover i don't know what you call it but anyways this cover where the power is generated um, just to see whether it's dirty because it has been standing outside in the rain so if there's water in there or dirt or muck or anything um, that obviously would cause a problem or if there's wires loose so i just thought i'm gonna go in there and see what i find and it's easy enough to open and it was a bit dirty on the bottom a slight oiliness don't know what it's from but when I turned, uh, you could see inside where the points are and that open and close. And as it opens, it sends spark uh, to the coil. And that was completely dirty. It's like full of uh, like a greasy type oily thick stuff. So there's no way that that uh, could have worked the way it's supposed to work. So um, I cleaned out everything with WD-40, uh, WD-40, sprayed it out, cleaned it out, so let it dry, spun it a couple of times with a kickstarter to spin it. Um, and then wiped it a bit and then for the points gap uh, I could see that it wants to open but it's so dirty uh, so I took a piece of sandpaper folded it in two and squished it in there I had to lift it up uh, with the allen key and then squish in the sandpaper and then drag it back and forth and I uh, put everything back together or well, I didn't even I just kicked it once um, or with my hand I just pushed the kickstarter and it fired up uh, so I can't believe that I've never done this before I've had this bike for 10 years and it's always hard to start after a couple of months of standing um, so that was probably dirty all all along anyways now it's just one push and brrr, it fires right up so I'm actually gonna try now <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. Don't give up. Just take it step by step. Um, ask around. YouTube it. Um, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. Not that I will be able to answer, but someone else will probably uh, be able to. And then let me know what you want me to do with this bike. Um, learn to wheelie, learn to jump, whatever you want. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video useful in any way, please give it a like so more people can find it. I really appreciate it. And then I'll see you next week. Cheers.